All right, guys, so today is 5-2, medians and altitudes of triangles. <clears throat> a median of a triangle is a segment with endpoints being a vertex of a triangle and the midpoint of the opposite side. Every triangle has three medians that are concurrent. The point of concurrency of the median of a triangle is called the centroid and is always inside the triangle. Centroid theorem, the medians of a triangle intersect at a point called a centroid that is two-thirds of the distance from each vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. If P is the centroid of triangle ABC, then AP equals one hat, one two thirds of AK, BP will equal two thirds of BL, and CP will equal two thirds of CJ. So in triangle ABC, if FC is 15, so this whole thing here to here is 15, find each length. So we need to find FQ. So all we're gonna do is 15 times one third, Okay, because we know that this QC will be two thirds, we can find this by just doing one third, which is equal to five. And then here, QC, the other is gonna be, so this is one third right here, and this will be the two thirds. Add them together, that makes the whole. So I'll just do 15 times two thirds, which is gonna be 10. All right, so in triangle JKL, PT equals two, find KP. So this is two here, and we're trying to find KP. So KP will equal two thirds of KT. So KP will be two thirds of this whole thing. And KP then could equal two thirds, and KT is just KP plus PT. So KP plus PT. Then we can substitute in the two for PT. So KP equals two thirds KP plus two. And then I can distribute this two thirds. So I have KP equals two thirds KP plus four thirds. When I multiply that out, I'll subtract two thirds KP from both sides because I have a KP on this side too. So then I would have one third KP equals four thirds. Multiply both by three to get rid of that one third on this side. So KP would equal 12 over three, which that's simplified is KP equals four. Another way to think about it is that this is one third and it's two, and we need to find what two thirds of the whole thing would be. You can just double this every time and get four. All polygons have a balance point of centroid. The centroid is also the balancing point or center of gravity for a triangular region. The center of gravity is the point at which this region is stable under the influence of gravity. So a performing artist plans to uh, balance triangular pieces of metal during her act. When one such triangle is placed on the coordinate plane, its vertices are located at 110, 50, and 95. What are the coordinates of the point where the artist should support the triangle so that it will balance? <clears throat> so if I make my graph over here, Okay, and I do 110, so 110, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, and 9, 5, so 9, and then 3, 4, 5, right about there. This would be my triangle. Okay, now I'm going to label these A, B, C just to make it easier for us. So what you need to do first is we need to find the midpoint of AB. So the midpoint of AB, which is gonna be equal to one plus five over two and 10 plus zero over two. So that would end up being six over two, which is three, and 10 over two, which is five. So we'd go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, Five, which is right there. And so now 
we need to find the distance, okay? So, or the distance from, we'll say this is P, so that point P. So we need to do PC equals two thirds of DC. All right, and so we know that DC, I'm sorry, yeah, DC, this is D, I'm tripping. This is, we're gonna make this D, A, B, C, D, the alphabet. So DC is six because I can just count one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's our distance for that. So PC will equal two thirds of six, which is four. So then you count from C and go one, two, three, four. Right there would be where you wanna balance it. And that point is five, five. All right, so altitudes. An altitude of a triangle is a segment from a vertex to the line containing the opposite side and perpendicular to the line containing that side. An altitude can lie in the interior, exterior, or the side of a triangle. So BD is an altitude from B to AC. All right, so now when we're talking about, oh, orthocenter, okay? So the lines containing the altitude of a triangle are concurrent intersecting at point called the orthocenter. The lines containing altitudes A, F, C, D, and B, G intersect at P, the orthocenter of triangle A, B, C. So then they give us these points, or the vertices of triangle F, G, H are negative four, two, or negative two, four, G is four, four, H is one, negative two. Find the coordinates of the orthocenter of the triangle. So the first thing we need to do is find the slope of GH and FH. Well, we're gonna do GH first. So the slope of GH, so the M of GH is equal to, it's rise over run, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So up six, one, two, three. So we'd have six over three or two. So the altitude is the opposite reciprocal because they are perpendicular to each other. So the altitude of GH is going to be negative one half, okay? So we're going to use um, at the point F, which is negative two, four, for Y and X in the slope intercept form. So we're gonna do Y equals MX plus B, and we're using this because that's where we're going, what's happening. If we're looking at this, we're trying to use this point and go to that corner. So we're using this side and we're going to that corner. So y is four, the slope is gonna be the altitude, which is negative one half times negative two plus b. So we can find where this is gonna go at over here. So we've got four equals one plus b. So three will equal b. So what we're gonna do on the y-intercept, we'll go one, two, three. That's gonna be our point. And then we can count with our, our altitude. We would go down one, right two, down one, right here. And then we can draw our line across. So that is gonna be our line. All right, and now we gotta do the same thing as we did over here, except for with FH and going to G. So the slope of FH is going to be, let's see here, we'd go down one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three. So it would be negative six over three or negative two. So the altitude of FH is going to be one half. All right, so again, we're gonna, have, we're gonna use y equals mx plus b, and we're gonna use the g point this time for x and y, and then we're gonna plug in our, our new altitude. So I'll have four equals one half times four plus b. So that'd be four equals two plus b. Subtract two, you get two equals b. So we've got that taken care of. And so now we can make that line. So we can go up two, put a dot, up one over two, up one over two, and draw our line connecting. 
And so if we see how the point is not, we can't guarantee that it's on that any line in particular, it's right here, but we don't know exactly other than that, if it's exactly on that line or exactly on this line. So we need to solve for it. So I'm gonna do this over here. So we need to solve these systems of equations. So we're gonna use our slope formula that y equals negative one half x plus the three that we solve for right here. And we're gonna do the other one, this side, which would be y equals one half x plus two. And when we solve the systems of equations, if I just add these all together, add them straight down, I would have two y equals, my x's would cancel, which I need one of my variables to cancel so I can solve for one of them. And that equals five, so I divide by two. Y is gonna be five over two. So I found y, now I need to find x. So I'm gonna take this y, and I'm gonna plug it into one of these two equations for y and solve for x. So I'm gonna do five over two equals, I'm gonna use this one, one half x plus two. I'm gonna subtract two. So then I have, I have um, that would that two, negative two could, it was over one, remember? So I need to multiply the top and the bottom. So really I'd have five over two minus four over two equals one half X, which would be one half equals one half X. I multiply both sides by two, I get one equals X. So my ortho center for this guy is at this point, one, comma five over two. Boom. All right, so now we're gonna do the same exact thing for six. Find the coordinates of the ortho center of the triangle shown in the graph. So let's figure out what these coordinates are to begin with. C is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's gonna be zero, six. A is at one, two, three, four, four, zero. And B is at negative two, one, two, three, four, four. All right, so the slope of AC is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. So we would go down six over four or negative three over two. The altitude would be then two over three. And again, we're using B to plug in for our Y equals MX plus B. So I've got four equals two thirds, negative two plus B. So then I'd have four equals negative four over three plus B. Add both sides. So I would have uh, four over one, which is really 12 over three when I get it to be the same on the bottom here, plus four over three equals B. And that is gonna be 16 over three equals B. All right, and so I'm gonna leave it just like that, 16 over three. So my equation for that slope of that line is y equals two thirds x plus 16 over three. And now I'm gonna do the slope of BA, which is gonna be down four over six, which is gonna be negative two over three. So my altitude for that one is gonna be three over two. So again, now I'm gonna use point C and do um, six equals three over two times zero plus B. This will cancel out, so six equals B. So that equation is gonna be Y equals three over two X plus six. So these are my two equations we're gonna use to solve the systems of equation. So I'll have y equals two thirds x plus 16 over three and y equals three over two x plus six. And see, I need to make sure that one of my variables cancels out. So I'm gonna multiply this bottom one by negative one and then add it. So I multiply that by negative one, I'd have negative y, negative three over two x and negative six. So then my y's would cancel to be zero equals and then I'd have negative five over six X minus two over three. I'd add the two over three over to get two over three equals negative five over six X. Multiply by negative six over five so that those cancel and negative six over five 
So cancels, cancels, and I would get negative 12 over 15 equals X. And then I can simplify that down to negative four over five equals X. So now I can take that negative four over five equals X and plug it in to this equation, the original equation. So this original equation. So Y equals three over two times negative four over five plus B. I'm sorry, plus six. So then Y will equal negative 12 over 10 plus six. Six over one, and we had to multiply by 10. No, I can simplify, I'm sorry. I can simplify this to Y equals negative six over five plus, and then I need a five on bottom, so I need to multiply top and bottom by five, so I'd have 30 over five. So Y will equal 24 over five. So my ortho center, my ortho center for this guy is gonna be negative four over five and 24 over five. And that's all for five two.